Hello, yes, the power of the ballot, Trump's street protest. That's right. Let me put this to you. Can anyone remember the other nine hunger strikers that were on a hunger strike with Bobby Sands in the maze, 1981, Northern Ireland? Can you remember the other nine hunger strikers who also starved themselves to death in the maze? Can you remember their names? I can remember one, Patsy O'Hara. I think he was in the Irish National Liberation Army. Can anyone actually remember what Bobby Sands was in jail for? I couldn't, had to Wikipedia it. It was a revolver, in possession of a revolver. So my point being here is, is Bobby Sands is best remembered and synonymous with the hunger strike because he was elected MP for the constituency of Fermanagh and South Tyrone. The other nine that also died uh, on their hunger strike. They're not remembered. They're not synonymous with the hunger strike. Bobby Sands is. And like I've said, I'll say it again. Can you name the other nine hunger strikers? Well, I bet you can't. I could name one. Now, loyalists and Republicans and uh, students of politics could name maybe some of them, half of them or whatever. But the average person on the street couldn't, right? Bobby Sands is the one. That's synonymous with the hunger strike of 1981. And that's because he was elected as MP for the constituency of Fermanagh and South Tyrone. The others waned, and that's the power of the ballot. Also, Bobby Sands being elected propelled the Republican cause sky high. Right? It literally did. Some would even say was indirectly responsible for the peace process. You see, don't forget... Margaret Thatcher said they're not getting political status because they're common criminals. Well, Bobby Sands being elected then made that look rather silly, didn't it? Because a large section of um, a part of the United Kingdom obviously believed otherwise. So the power of the ballot is what propelled republicanism with Bobby Sands being elected in 1981 to the constituency of Fermanagh and South Tyrone. There was another hunger striker. Uh, Caden Dois, he was elected to uh, a seat somewhere in the Irish Republic. But again, he's not synonymous with the hunger strike. Bobby Sands is, and that's due to being elected as an MP, the power of the ballot once again. Remember the Countryside Alliance, they had a march to try and bring back uh, Fox Hunting to uh, repeal the bill and bring it back. In London, it was about 250,000 on. It was a massive march. But what happened? They just ended up getting the skulls cracked by coppers wielding truncheons. Nothing happened. The cause was lost. What they'd have been better doing is finding a constituency in the countryside somewhere where a Tory MP that was anti-hunting, fielding their own candidate against him, someone, let's say, Otis Ferry, and putting all that time, effort and money and people into getting them elected. Had he been elected, his voice would have reverberated around the corridors of power. They would have had a voice instead. They uh, chose to have a march that just ended in violence and their cause was lost. That's what they'd have been better doing, like we should be doing. You see, we're being taken away from electoral politics for a reason, right? And you know we are. Lauren Southern, as an example, she's going in Muslim no-go areas telling us the no-go areas. We already know the no-go areas. There's no one in them uh, no-go areas you're going to recruit anyway, Lauren Southern. You need to be going into white areas and recruiting white people, talking to white people, but you're not. You're going on silly feminist marches, asking them questions. Why are you doing that? You need to go to our people, right? Not waste your time in Muslim no-go areas and telling us what we already know. We are wasting our time. Tommy Robinson has just been released and people are telling me it's the power of protest which has brought this about. Well, that's nonsense. He's been released because his sentence was indeed harsh. Well, that's another video in itself. So we're being taken away from electoral politics. I'm not saying we're going to be elected with 360 MPs or whatever it is you need. What I am saying is that we can use the power of the ballot to kick our message and our cause, right? Sky Eye like Bobby Sands did uh, when he was elected to Fermanagh and South Tyrone. That's what we can do. We can use it 
to highlight our plight and we can use it to recruit, we can use it to bring our message to millions of people, even getting one councillor and one or one MP elected. We could concentrate on one constituency to get someone elected to the House of Parliament. And once we got someone elected, that would be it. We would, the, the consciousness, the mood, people's beliefs, views would change overnight. And the power of the ballot does indeed trump street protest. Okay, thanks.